Yeah, the guys from Poro Vision Solar are here. Uh, we're making a whole lot of noise up there on top of the roof. We already had two collectors for solar hot water. And now we're putting in 20 photovoltaic panels. We got some going in on the southeast section and then the rest are going in over on the southwest section of the roof. These guys do work fast. I think they got almost all the panels up on the roof already. Oh, they're up in the attic running conduit. Uh, these guys know what they're doing. They bring their own gazebo so they can set their tools up whether it rains or not. Lucky day though. No rain. Greetings. Well, the Green Garden guy's finally gone complete and total for green energy. Uh, we've been working on this for a while. Going back a few years ago, up there on the roof, we installed solar hot water heater collectors. Um, when we did that, that reduced the electric bill for us by about 33 percent. Roughly one-third of our power usage went away when we started heating the water with the sun. Uh, Hawaii has the most expensive energy anywhere in the United States of America. Now, it doesn't matter whether it's your electrical uh, energy coming down the wires or whether it's uh, your car's gasoline or it's propane. Anything here that happens to be connected to fossil fuel is the most expensive in the country. You know, how, how'd you guys like to pay over $3.70 a gallon for your gasoline every day, huh? Hawaii has no fossil fuel resources of its own. There is no coal here, there's no oil, there's no natural gas, and so any form of fossil fuel that we use has to be brought here on boats. Because of the extreme energy cost here, that makes Hawaii one of the most logical places in the United States to convert to alternative sources of energy, like wind, like geothermal, like solar, we got plenty of sunshine here even on a cloudy day. And so because there are good tax rebates and there were some good uh, energy rebates from the power company on doing any of this kind of work around here, we decided that before the tax credits began to diminish, because they are going down next year, that we were going to go ahead, bite the bullet, and put photovoltaics up on the roof. So. You can see over here on this side of the roof, the two existing solar hot water heater collectors. And then you can see over there that we got a bunch of Sunrun US made uh, solar collectors with copper backing. They're probably 20 to 25 percent more efficient than the Chinese collectors that have aluminum backing. We could not fit all the collectors we needed for the house on one rough face so we turned around and we put the rest of them over here on this side of the house so we got some pointing towards the southeast and some pointing more towards the southwest the collectors have their own individual inverters uh, but i have allowed the system to be grid tied and so we're still hooked to helco's wires here through that meter on the far end but we'll have another meter that's a special one installed over here on this side it's going to allow us to push current back up the power lines if need be so if I start producing more juice than we can use here at the house and more than can be used in the batteries then I'm going to go ahead and push it up the uh, up the grid we'll only get about one-third of the value of the power in other words they're going to charge me 100% on each kilowatt, but only give me back about one-third of that for what goes up the wire. So ideally, we won't be pushing very much up the wire. And for energy storage here in the house, we're going to be using Elon Musk's Tesla Power Walls. They seem to be a pretty darn good thing. Almost everything that we put into this system is U.S. made and not imported. Now, one of the more unusual things we did with this system is we had a car charger installed 
right into the solar system so that I can connect an electric vehicle to the roof panels and run the battery up using the sun which will not only take us away from having to buy power from the power company but it will also keep me from having to go to a gas station for the rest of my life of course to make all that work and there's one more expense you have to get yourself an electric vehicle <laughs> and so we decided uh, it's a good year the tax rebates are still really nice and high I believe they're 30 percent the rebate on the on the system here from the taxes um, and there's still some pretty good tax credits on uh, electric vehicles I broke down and we bought ourselves a brand new Chevy Bolt. That's B-O-L-T, not V-O-L-T. The Volt is a uh, hybrid Chevrolet. This is a totally electric vehicle. Um, it has no gas engine in it at all. It runs totally off of electricity. I have yet to put very many miles on the thing yet, but I'll tell you, it's impressive. I think the Bolt is just a great automobile. As far as driving range is concerned, um, it's comparable to the Tesla Model 3. It's also fairly comparable in price range to the Tesla. Um, I may have looked at Teslas, but here on the island we don't have any Tesla dealers, and so that eh, kind of counted that out. The neighbors got a Tesla, and I see them all over the place, but I think everybody's uh, shipping them in from the mainland from somewhere. And uh, Electric vehicles need very little service and maintenance, but man, with what you pay for one, you best have a service center around with somebody who knows how to work on it. So I looked at the Nissan Leaf, and you can't look at it here because Nissan keeps changing uh, the, the car as far as battery storage range and so on. And because of that, the, the Nissan dealers here on the island just threw up their arms. They gave up. They won't stock them. So there aren't any Leafs here. Uh, if you can find one, there is a, a power company rebate of about $3,600 on the Nissan Leaf. Uh, the Leaf's range, though, is not comparable with the, uh, uh, the Tesla or the Bolt. Uh, a Leaf will only go about 110 miles on a charge, which is not much. Uh, the new Leaf Plus apparently will go over uh, uh, 200 miles on a charge. Uh, both the Tesla and the Bolt are right somewhere around 250 miles on a charge. Considering it's a round trip circle from here to Kona and back again on the other side of the island is a 197 mile uh, trip. It's entirely possible for me to take my bolt, go over to the other side of the island, drive back again, and still plug it back into the collectors on the roof. The other beauty of this is, is whereas if you have a, a, a gas car, you're going to have to go to a filling station when you start to run out of gas. Well, we set ourselves up so we'll be using the sun mostly, but... For instance, if you shop at Target here on the island, they have fast chargers in the parking lot for electric cars that are free. Uh, there are chargers at the power company at Helco. Again, no charge for them, no fee. Um, the Chevrolet dealer assures me that they have a rapid charge at the Chevy dealer, and uh, since I bought the car there, they will allow me to come in and use that charger free. Now, when was the last time somebody told you you could use a gas pump for nothing? Huh? <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. The green garden guy has gone totally green energy. Aloha. Hang loose. Put more solar collectors on your house and buy an electric car. It's good for you and good for the planet. You'll love the freedom. Aloha.